Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of TD202. In this episode, I'll show you how to draw geometries in orthographic projection that consist of circular and curved faces. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the drawing that we're going to do today. And before drawing, I like to analyze the drawing to see if we can determine all the measurements that are needed. Um, if you look at the drawing, you realize that this measurement is missing. Um, it is not placed there. However, it doesn't need to be placed there for you to draw this object. As you know, you have the overall height and you know the thickness here. So whatever this measurement is, once you draw, you will get it. Um, this measurement is 15 millimeters. This is 40 millimeters. This is just a portion of the height. This is the remainder of the height that is missing. So if you simply minus this measurement from the overall measurement, you'll get this measurement. So that's how you get that measurement. Once you continue to analyze the drawings, you will see those more easily. Another thing that I normally say constantly, once you have a shape, a semicircle, that is in line with uh, another shape, whatever the width of the shape is where the semicircle is, that is the diameter of the circle. So for example, this measurement here, which is also from here to here, is 50 millimeters. That is the diameter of this circle. It simply means that it is the width here also. So once you know the diameter, you can automatically know the radius. The diameter is 50. Therefore, this sign is therefore, the radius is going to be 25 millimeters. So once you have this measurement here, which is the radius, you should automatically know the overall measurement of the drawing, which will be 50 plus the radius plus the 15. So from here to here will be the 15 plus the 50, which is 65, plus 25, that is 75, 85, 90. So the overall length of this drawing is 90 millimeters. So let's get to drawing this. Um, I'll just select third angle projection for this drawing. I'm trying my best to alternate. I don't quite remember what I did last in the last video, but I'm assuming it was I'm taking a chance, I'm going to draw this in third angle projection. Third angle projection seems easier for everybody. So let's do that for this drawing, since it's a bit more complicated than the others. So let's start with the front view. I'm going to draw the front view right here, the plan view just above it, and the right view, which is being shown here, to the right. So I'm going to start off this drawing about here. And remember, the measurement for the entire drawing is 15 plus 50 plus whatever the radius of this portion is, which is 25, I've shown you before. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to leave a little space over this side for the measurement, the dimensioning. So it's 90. So initially I'm going to put the 15 Oh, and the height in the meantime is 40 millimeters. So you put the 40, I'm also going to put the 15 so that I can draw a number of lines at the same time. So I can go ahead and brighten here. I can go ahead and brighten here. 
if you're looking at, looking at the side, you won't see that it's a curve from this direction. You will only see that it's a curve from the plan view. That's why I have to draw the line straight here. So it shapes like a L from the side view. All right. If you notice, there's a hole here, which from the front view should be shown as hidden lines. So let me do that. Or should I wait until I draw the plan view? So it's 25 from the end. This is where the center of this circle would be. And from the center, the internal hole, or the internal circle diameter right here, is 24. So from the center, you'd measure 12 on each side. This simply means when you're drawing the plan view, you'll open the compass to 12. So basically this hidden detail, these hidden detail lines are showing that there's a hole going through the shape. But you're not seeing it from the front view. Um, as usual, I'll leave my 20 millimeter space and this 20 millimeter space is not a definite, meaning you can leave space as is required. So all these points, one, two, Three, if you notice my center line, my, the point that I've used to measure the center is still there. So right here is the center of the hole. I'm going to bring up all these points. There's something interesting in transferring the measurements to the side view here. I'll show you. All right, so the overall width of this drawing, as you can see here, is 50 millimeters. We already have the length. Remember from the plan view, we can only see the length and the width. We cannot see the height. So don't have to worry about which measurement should go here. We already have the length from the front view. We just need the width. From the plan view, we can only see length and width. It's the only view we cannot see the height from. So it's 50 millimeters. All right. And this center line has to go up. I'm bringing it up as a construction line and you'll see why in a bit. So let's brighten this line. All right, so let's look here now. The plan view will have a curve. So you'll have this 15 millimeters here, then you have 50 more millimeters before the curve starts. If you notice the 50 millimeters, it measures all the way to the center line, where the center line is going up. This center line here, if you notice the drawing, as it reaches the 50 millimeter mark, it starts to curve. And we'll do just that. Here's our 50 millimeter mark right here. So we just need to find the center of that. So find the halfway mark. So we're going to use center lines. Um, let me erase this a bit, just to redraw it as a center line so that you know that that's where the center of the circle will be. So let's open our compasses to 25 millimeters. We can either do that or just simply open it to the corner because that is automatically 25 millimeters. If your drawing is accurate, you will notice it will touch the top and the bottom and the end. Right, so 
let's do that. And we can brighten. All right. So as you can see, similar to the isometric drawing, the curve starts after the 50 millimeter mark. And there's a circle inside that the diameter is 24 millimeters. It simply means that we are going to open us, open the compass to half that diameter, which is the radius, which I've already transferred that measurement, the 12 on each side of the center. So I can just open my compass to the measurements that I've transferred. If you wish to reopen it to 12 millimeters, it, it will make no difference. Once your drawing is accurate, it will be reflected on the drawing. So that's the plan view of the drawing. There are no hidden lines to be seen here. Now, we are going to transfer um, the 45 degree line from the front view to draw the side view. Normally, this is how it goes, listen carefully. You will transfer a line 45 degrees. It should be slow, it should be drawn to the side where you're going to draw the side view. Meaning, in this case, it will be drawn to the right. And it will be drawn at the uppermost point on the front view. This is the front view. The uppermost point in the front view, it seemed to be one of these two points. But to the side where you're going to draw the side view. So over here. So a lot of persons will think it's this point. But let's do it. Find the uppermost points on the drawings, which are these points. Find this, the points that are closest to the side that you want to draw, which are these points. You are going to allow these points to meet. Oftentimes, depending on the drawing, how they are, they meet on the drawing itself. In this case, they are not going to meet on the drawing. I've already brought this up. I'm going to bring this across. So in this case, they meet here. So some persons might want to put the line here. This will not work. It will not work here either. The uppermost point to the side that you need to draw. It is off the drawing in this case. So you're going to draw your 45 degree line. And then you are going to bring across all the measurements from the plan view to that line. Let me erase that and redo it. Even the edges of the circle that is inside those measurements will be transferred, so you don't need to measure them again. Uh, I think that's all the points, and all the points on the front view will be brought across. Uh, let me bring these across just a bit, so that I don't need to bring them across further. All right, so I'm going to bring down all the points that are touching the 45 degree line. This one. This one, I've not brought down the center line as yet. I want to bring it down as a center line. So it's long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. All right. Now I can now brighten. Let me look at this shape one more time. This piece is already evident. As you can see, the height of this portion, which we can work out to be 25, 25 plus 15 is 40. And the width, as you can see, is 50 millimeters. All those measurements have been worked out. So this is the 50 millimeter line that I'm brightening. And I'm brightening the overall height, which is 40 on each side. Brightening the base, which is also 50. And this other portion, which is also 50 millimeters. So this is 25 plus 15. See, I didn't even measure this once. I've just measured the 50. 
I've just measured the 15. All the time, this works out itself. So a lot of these measurements, sometimes you don't even have to know what they are. Just draw what you know. And then you'll also see the in detail lines for the hole at the side view. Because if you look at the side view, you are not able to see the hole. You're seeing this portion and you're seeing this portion. For the front view, you're seeing this portion going all the way around to here. You are not seeing the hole. You can only see the hole from the plan view. So that is why for the plan view, you will see the hole. And you don't need a hidden detail line because there is nothing else that is hidden. The hole is hidden at the front view and at the plan view. So basically, there you have it. You can now go ahead and add your dimensions to your drawings. Let me add my orthographic sign very quickly. All right, so that's my orthographic symbol. You can go ahead and apply the dimensions to the drawing. I hope this lesson was informative and I hope you guys like, share and subscribe for more content. Have a good day.